Hello and welcome to Winter Disco Tabletop Gaming, where we are going to do a quick fire video checking out the Faith of Damnation online preview reveal thing that happened overnight. So heads up, this is going to be a quick one. We're going to go through things very briefly. I'll talk about it a little bit, but overall it's going to be very brief. And throughout the next week, I'll be uploading specific videos because there's actually a lot to talk about and a lot of exciting things that are coming. Ooh, particularly the last thing. So you wanna hang around for that one. So we had re reveals for most of the big games. So we had Age of Sigma, 40K, Necromunda, and Warhammer Underworlds. We knew a lot of what was coming, particularly for Necromunda, we knew the Redemptionists were coming. And for Warhammer Underworlds, we knew the Ossiarch Bone Reapers one was coming too. So first up, we had what they're calling the Undead Conquerors of the Mortal Realms. Um, I'm not gonna show the trailers. I will show that up in the video specifically for this, but we have a new Undead army. We're just gonna go down the page, see what we got. New Blood Knight. Look, check check out these bottles. Seriously, they are so nice. I always like the Blood Knight models because there's so much detail, so many different bits of textures and materials. So you can really get in there and do some really cool paint jobs. These ones look really cool. Very dynamically posed. This one's charging and leaping forward. The horse has its like bangs and everything. It's very nice. And of course, a banner. I actually want to take this banner and make a new Space Marine chapter called, let's say, Dragons of the Chalice, Blood Marine successor, and just use all this iconography because why not? And then we get skeletons. Now, I I will save this major point for a video when I talk about this because I want to talk about it extensively, but these skeletons and the undead walkers that we'll be seeing in a second, they are basically other versions of what we're going to see in Warhammer Quest Curse City. So they're a bit less extravagant that the ones in the Coast City have like the big, huge capes, cloaks all over the place, but it's still very similar. And it's something that I'm a bit like, Ugh, I, I, I'm not particularly excited by that. For example, this one right here, these dead walker zombies that they're called, one was almost pretty much pulled out of Coast City, but we do get some more zombies. So I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, We'll talk about my feelings more on that and how I'm not a particular fan of that in the next video, but that's fine. But you can see we always need more zombies. The zombies needed a massive update and these ones look super cool. I'm really happy that these ones are coming out. And we also get some fell bats. We have some fell bats in Curse City. So I feel like getting Curse City and all these models will get you a really good, I'm guessing saying a really good army for the Soul Black Grave Lords because there's some really cool sculpts. And these three models here, gross. I'm assuming this is going to come in a box of three, um, but those bats are freaking amazing they're so creepy the creepy bat faces i always hated bat faces thing they're gross and then we have the battle tome itself soul blight grave lords we're getting a new army which is very exciting then we have this i'm not going to talk about this because i don't particularly know too much kragnos from my research seems to be a character that is new or it may be a name for orion i believe um, but this is a very quick trailer they didn't say anything else but we know the one of the next Broken Realms books will be Kragnos. I think there's like two more Broken Realm books that need to come out. One that's focusing on the Lumineth Realm Lords and Broken Realms Bellacore. Can I correct me if I'm wrong? I'm pretty sure that's the next one. And then we have Kragnos. So don't know what's going to come out for that one. It's very weird. Next up, Underworlds. The tithe is due. We knew we were going to get all of these things. Um, we'll see all the models. And this is for Kanan's Reapers which is the Ossiarch Bone Reapers model. And ah, that model, when I do an in-depth look, we'll compare the size of this model to some of the other ones. It's remarkably different. Mir Kanan, his full name, is almost like twice the size as all the other models. One point I will go over very quickly is I've always disliked the Ossiarch Bone Reapers and it's always come down to the faces, like these comedic, grinning, evil skull faces. I don't like it and some of the armor too, but I think it's really the paint job on the armor that I don't like. Like, I just don't like the face. I don't like this kind of armor. It is what it is. You can see it on the shoulder there. I don't like it. And I think it might be the paint job. So we'll talk a little bit more about that in that video when we do look at all the models and the trailer and have a look at some of the cards. So I'm actually quite excited because I don't know that much about the Ossiar Brain Reapers and it's not something I've really looked at because I've always had a problem with them. Next up, we have the Necromunda, Faith, Fire and Fury. And of course, they've revealed House of Faith, which is the Cordor book, which is very exciting because Cordor, and the Redemptionists are one of the more interesting gangs in Necromunda. I don't particularly like their design, but I like the idea behind them. So we've got that book coming out and I've not got a copy of the Necromunda book, not the Necromunda, the Escher book. And it's such a good book. Like there's so much info in there. And of course we knew this was coming, the Redemptionists. I'm gonna talk extensively about this in another video, but we're just gonna quickly show off some of the, the new models. Like such Redemptionists 2.0, a 2020 updated version of Redemptionists. Cause I love the original models. It was, one of my favorite Necromunda warbands. I'll just show off a few of the models here. So they're not all flamers, although this guy has a giant chainsaw heavy flamer, which is just crazy. I'm gonna go back to this guy. 
I want to get this model. I think it's just so cool. Um, we have the new box set for Necromunda, which is Hive War. In the box itself, you can see it's pretty much the standard box, but not the original one, which was just all just the flat cardboard piece. This one has part of the Mortal Zone Mortalis terrain in there and a whole bunch of other pieces. So we get House Escher and, and a Dalak gang. Kind of cool, like Escher is one of my favorites. Dalak, mm, I think they're kind of the oddest ones. I'm not 100% keen on that gang, but it is what it is. You get the rule book which I don't know if it's a hard copy rule book. They haven't said um, itself that is a hard copy, but most likely will be. 11 zone Mortalis columns and walls, 25 barricades and objectives, 16 dice, because you need special dice, 45 game cards, three blast markers, which is awesome. I love blast markers. It's a throwback to like the 90s, love it. And then a whole bunch of tokens and a gaming mat. It's 104 introductory rule book, and it's an updated one. So it'll have some extra rules in there. It may not be hardcover one. Not 100% sure on that. Then we get some special glory to the Omnisire. So we get a new model that we've seen in silhouette. This is called Skatari Marshall. I really love the head on this one. I really do. We have seen the bottom foot a bit and we still do have the other Skatari model as well, which is the Prime, not a Primus. I can't remember, but there is another one around. So it's cool that we're getting some more models. Um, we did have a lot of new models for Skatari last year with the riders and the weird flying things. Odd. I know it was it made sense in the law and how ridiculous it is, but it's a bit odd. And we get the Adaptus Mechanicus Codex. It'll be a cool codex. I'm really enjoying all the new codexes. There's a lot of lore in there, a lot of extra bits and pieces, which is very nice. And some funky, funky art. I love this art. This main figure is calling out for a conversion with his four arms. Huge backpack with dudes hanging out the side. He looks absolutely massive. So I think that there is calling out for a conversion. And then we've got some more 40k. The tank that we knew this was coming from the silhouettes that came out. I think it was like two or three days ago. We knew this would be a, this is a battle tank. It is a chunky boy based on the Rhino chassis with the sisters Rhino's upgrades. It has like all the, the furnaces and the um, pyres spitting out holy flame and holy smoke has a big thing stuck on top with lots of firepower lots of attachments as well they're very cool looks like you can load it out in multiple different things we'll do another video and we'll come back and have a better look at this finally when i first saw this i didn't watch the video when i first saw it i had a look and i'm like oh they look like that's like savage orcs coming through i looked at it on my phone when i just woken up at like six in the morning i'm like okay whatever don't particularly care although i thought they were cool but it's 40k be snaggers i will do a video specifically on this because the trailer is worth watching there's a lot a lot of info in the trailer about a new i guess wave of i wouldn't call them savage orcs in 40k but they focus on these riding squigs it looks like there's some other special characters or at least command units also a truck that seems to be pulled by one of these giant squigs there's a lot going on in that trailer so definitely something that i will go into separately because i think it's very cool and giant squigs although i wish they were like just giant two-legged squigs that they're all riding i think that'd be pretty cool so much content and that's why i only wanted to keep this video very short and brief because there is a lot to cover i'm particularly excited for pretty much everything <laughs> um I think I'm most excited for the Redemptionist. So we go back to the Redemptionist. Look at that boy. Look at him. Just, I want to take all these bits. This model here is screaming Ecclesiarchy. I want a proper, better Ecclesiarchy army, even though no, they can't have an army because of the law. That's why they've got the Sisters of Battle because no man can be in an army for the Ecclesiarchy. So I'm excited for that one. And this fella here for that chainsaw. Ah, oh, so good. Yeah, I do want to take this and convert it into some kind of Ecclesiarchy or Inquisition model. So that's it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Like this video if you got this far. And if you have, thank you for watching. Until later, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.